Hello, everyone. Welcome back to some more Xenonauts. We left off, we were defending the Earth, obviously. And we downed two s freaking seven Kaizen craft. And we almost lost uh, two people in that last mission, but... But we didn't. We managed to keep them both alive, though they'll be injured probably throughout the next alien wave. Took up where we left off and get back to what we were doing. Okay, so, Vigilance is landing at Chimera. We're heading to Crash Site 63. We're hoping to shoot down forest fires. Oh, UFO 103, who was causing forest fires, and we'll be up there to hopefully do that. Um, I think we did, we did a set rep in the last video. It, almost no time has elapsed. So, but then again, to me, it's, it's been a day. Maybe people don't remember. All right, so let, let's go ahead and cover this really quick. So, we increased the radar coverage here in Chimera, giving us the now awesome... A three ring or largest capable uh, capacity for detecting aliens in that range. We're not, well, actually, we're building something. One more day in the workshop over here in North America, but we won't be hiring the, sci the engineers this month. They'll have to wait till next month. We simply can't afford it because we're going to spend that money instead building stuff. We're still excellent on the Android analysis and the armor, alien armor plating. We are not building anything because we can't afford it. <laughs> That's the way it works. Actually, we probably can't afford it now. We're over three... F uh, this was eight days, right? Oh, no, we picked up more engineers, Tim, as well. Uh, but I think we can still afford it. Afford to build the... Finding the precision plasma. So let's go ahead and, and get this done. So... Oh, oh, do we want the armor? No, let's build the precision plasma. We'll build... I think we'll build two of it? No, build build just one of it, Tim, at the moment. See, see how much money you have left over. Once this is done. And we're watching... Okay, now hold on. So first off... Um, oh, we didn't finish, even finish the sit rep. Here, here is our Elenium and Alloys. Holy crap, 50 Elenium. Why do we have a plasma carb... Oh, because of the injury. He was so heavily injured that he's off the roster at the moment. Uh, Tabo T, I believe. And so he is now uh, recovering. He is now recovering. We should probably ship some of this over to other places. At the very least, the Alenium, Alenium, some of it. So let's transfer. Let's transfer like 15 of this over to Wraith. And while we're doing that, we'll also transfer probably another 24 of this. All over to Wraith Base. Okay, that should be good. So there's our current Elenium stores. We're good on people. No one died, much to my surprise. Let's actually outfit the folks here. So Arno Arm, you are heavily damaged. You are going to be spent taking some time off to recover. We need another assault here. So... How's, and they're heavy weapons? Who's our heavy weapons? Major Orison Spoon. Major Spoon, let's give you some time off as well. You've been with us non-stop for a bit now. We'll give you a single one of these. Actually, we could probably fit one more, just in case we get attacked here. And then we can have Apathy Man. Give you your default equipment. You can hold one more piece of gear. So let's give you... A suppression grenade, since it was surprisingly useful last time. Actually, you can hold one more thing. We can give you some plastic explosives, or plasma explosives, and assign you to the Villagence. And we can do the same thing for Varago T. Now has this gear. He can hold some more stuff. We'll give him an explosive. A gas grenade and a... Oh, we already have one of them. A fire grenade. Assign you to, we can't assign you to the Villagence. Why not? Oh, because that Apathy Man's still attached. Apathy Man, we do not need you assigned. Our no arm also shouldn't be here. Alright, so that means Brogovald, you are now on the Villagence. And Corey Jackson, you're only shield over here, but we're waiting for the other other shield to show up. So we equip you with everything, give you one of these. 
Why not? We'll give you a baton. And you can still carry more stuff, so we'll give you some plastic explosives. Plasma explosives. And give you onto the villagents. Give you onto the villagents. Let's make sure everyone is where I want them. Everyone is not where I want them. Shield. shield. Okay, that will do. We can use villagents to hold Crash Site 63 until nighttime falls as well. Let's save the game. Wow, I had to delete all these saves. All right, let's get some more time. Holy crap, Adron Analysis. Well done, Commander. Whoever fired the lucky shot that disrupted its self-termination mechanism has given us an intact specimen rather than the usual frag-to-hell mess of circuitry that forms its brain. And I've been working around the clock to decrypt its contents. The brain is an engineering marvel. Like the rest of the body, it has been modeled on organic beings, a large, complex lump of matter. Considerable thought has been given to cooling the excess heat the machine-speed brain generates. The architecture of the brain is so designed to prevent hotspots from forming. Superconductive material is used throughout it, and an, and an unusual liquid coolant is used, whose molecules appeal, appear to clump around spots of heat and ignore cooler areas, regulating the amount by which any particular area is cooled, rather than cooling everything by the same uniform temperature. As with other design decisions of the Andron, there don't appear to be any efficiency gains from modeling the brain like this. A distributed set of processing nodes throughout the body would be easier to cool and make the Andron more resilient against an attack, which takes out a processing node. Digital forensic analysis of its operating system reveals two distinct layers of machine code. The first, more fundamental layer, is an autonomous, undirected, self-aware neural network. This generalized layer can learn and reason in a similar way that higher-order mammal mammals can. It was difficult to unearth, and it's been particularly hidden and mostly brutalized by a second layer of code, which savages the self-learning and self-improvement mechanisms, installs powerful obedience protocols, and forces the decision matrix to refer to an approved master instruction set, turning a potential self-aware being into a lobotomized slave. This disparity between the two layers, both in design and intent, is striking. Clearly, the Androns weren't always this way. But what were the Androns before they were repurposed as engines of war? Experiments are underway to see if we subvert the if we can subvert the control layer. A mass slave revolt on Andron crewed vessels may be one solution to the invasion. For all the Andron robots' speed and strength, their slavish instruction set makes them incredibly predictable, right down to the way they hold their weapons and precise pattern of movements they make in combat. These tells, as well as detailed files on weak spots in their armor plating, have been packaged up and shipped to your men. You should see a roughly 10% improvement in damage caused by exploitation of these weaknesses. Okay, well, we could begin research on the Harrodin next. But I think we'll grab an Electroshock Grenade. Actually, we might want both of these. I think we need all these for the Marauder. <laughs> or we'll need these to unlock magma we uh, Magnum Weapons. The final and most powerful version of weapons we can get. But we'll probably be sticking out with Plasma for some time, I would imagine. Let's... Uh, <laughs> I want the Marauder, Tim. If you want the Marauder, I, I think I think the armor plating's the way to get to the Marauder. Let's let's go with the electroshock grenade. Oop, that was a little too fast. All right, let's advance some time. I do want to launch. Okay, good. He's up and about. He will launch Falcon Sub Zero up toward him. Darn you, UFO sighting. We're going to get you. Oh, yeah. We got you. Got you. Okay, so let's also begin launching the Crash Site 63 with Vigilance. Well, Knowledge patrols. This way, the Crash Site remains on the map. I hate you. I'm blowing you up over land. Auto resolve. Return to base. Um, huh. We're just going to blow this one up. As, as much as it pains me to do that. Because I'm not going to have time to do... Well, we could do it both of them. We'll think... Uh, I think it's going to be nighttime up there at all times is the, is the issue I'm having. Or I will have. Oh, knowledge. This is scary. Uh, it will be daylight there. But I don't know. Oh, knowledge may run out of fuel to him before it's actually daytime. 
at Crash Light 63. We can now select a new target and go to Crash Light 63 while Villagers returns to base. Villagers can then we go to Crash Light 63 while we, we patrol Knowledge. Knowledge can then select a new target and head back to Crash Site 63, while Villagers heads to Crash Site 66. Awesome! And this will work. We, we can do all these missions. Workshop is completed at Juggernaut. Okay. And time for Crash Site 63. I want to take full advantage of the fact that I have multiple assault teams. That means hitting every single base location that we possibly can. We also can benefit from all these Elenium and Alien Alloys, and extra money will be helpful, too. Alright, hopefully it's not more Kaizens. Please don't be more Kaizens. Alright. Are we in a corner? We are in a corner. Do we know what we're fighting? I have a feeling we've done this mission before, and there's a big building with... Yep. Over here. I've done this mission... But I remember this map, because in the last playlist... At least I think I remember this map. I did this map like three times, so there's going to be an alien waiting for us right on the other side of this, too. Right, game static. Let's take a peek around. Might as well. Okay, we don't see any aliens immediately around us. Corporal Blue, Bluesmo ME66, let's get you up here. Pivot. And we'll keep you standing. Her Kodaks. Let's move you over here. Oh, a wall. Hello, wall. Crouch you. Zero CBN. Run you up. Crouch you for some supporting fire. I think we might as well throw some smoke over everybody. Whose command are we using? God, I hope we're not fighting Kaizens again. We are using Crusader Cassandra's morale. That's awkward, because I usually like her for her reaction fire, but we're not going to have that today. At least not right away, right? Since we don't know what we're fighting yet. I will want it up here. All right. Uh, Ol Odinson, let's get you to the tree. You don't see anything over here. You can at least fire a rocket. Next turn, and destroy some of the structure if we need it. Yavir, there's no good place to move you at the moment. We don't know what we're fighting. We don't know where it is. It doesn't really protect everybody. Hopefully... Hopefully, Bluezo ME66 won't just die on us. I'm going to run you up into the smoke. If we're fighting Seblings, that's not going to help you at all. Oh, there might be a wall all the way covering everything here. Raphael Perry, let's move you to the tree. And crouch you there and watch this side. I think the UFO's over here. I think UFO is right down in this section, if I remember this map correctly. Feels like cheating. Just knowing what's coming up, but I I just can't help it. I remember. Damien, we're going to set you here, because I think we're going to fight aliens over this side. Gamer static. We'll move you up a little bit as well. You can also throw a smoke grenade, maybe. That was terrible. Doesn't cover o old Odinson. It barely covers your... Actually, yeah, it barely covers you. But we'll stick with this at the moment. Let's end the turn. Zeblians! Sounds like all local forces have been defeated. This also means 
Probably Reapers. So we have fought we have fought Harridans a few times. We also didn't hear any Reaper sounds. So we don't see anything over this side, Raphael. I'm nervous doing this, but there was so much gunfire. Oh, we don't see anything. Get you on the ground so you're not insta-gibbed and face you this way. Okay, nothing is immediately on the other side of this, which is good. There's the debris. Yep, the alien UFO is on that side. We can ignore the building and come to the UFO, I suppose, if we really want to. And I think we do. I really, really do. I don't want to have to fight Seblians near a structure. Where? We are out of position to deal with him. Yavir, you can see him too. I need to kill it somehow, but we have smoke blocking our shots. Cassandra is the only one I think who can take a decent shot at him. And even then, it's at super long range. Zero, we're going to have to have you try. Well, the good news is he's suppressed. The bad news is we're, we're going to suffer for that. That was a lot of fire that happened down here. Ah, this sucks. Smoke is also useless. Not gonna help us against Seblians. Cassandra, if we take this shot, he's just gonna heal it. We'll slightly reposition you at the moment. Oh, Odinson. We'll get you behind the tree. Blue, I want to know if there's anything up ahead of us this way. I don't see anything. We will move you up. If I spin you around, that's one, two, three, four. All right, good. Nothing in the corner. In that corner, at least. And gamer static. We're going to move you up this way. Back into the UFO. Uh, back into our ship again. Hopefully, we don't lose you, Damien Reloaded. That would suck. He's going to turn around, and we could get a grenade over the wall. We just, we don't have the movement to get up there with people this turn. We don't have the movement. We can't, we can't make that. Alright, lots of things saw where we went, or where we are. Damien, you could probably kill it. Oh, missed that 138% shot. Missed both shots. It's dead now. Um, let's round the corner. Yep, there's a UFO, exactly where I thought it would be. We don't see anything else. Raphael, we could crouch you here for some reaction fire. We heard lots of gunfire, so there's got to be more than just that one alien here. Oh, so we can stand you up and move you a little bit more up like this.
Uh, let's have you peek down here really quick. We don't see anything. There's a person in there. If we hear him die, then we know that there's a Seblian around. That is an Assault Plasma. He might come around the corner next turn. Unfortunately, I don't... Can I actually... Sh uh, we, can try, we can try shooting him again. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it multiple shots, right? Actually, Old Odinson, let's get you... Can we get you out of the way? We cannot. Hopefully, you won't take any hits or be suppressed. Awesome. Another dead Sebelian. Two down. Oh, something's... We can't see here? Okay. Let's move you back two spots. Keep you here, Blueza... Blumazone. Blumazone? Blumazone 66. Oh, boy. We're gonna move you two. Two. Let's move you up here a little bit, Kerhodex, and crouch you. Yavir, you move here. If there's a Reaper that charges out, I want to know, and I want to kill it. So we'll move you up and crouch you for some reaction fire. Can recycle crouch you for some reaction fire. And then Zero will face you this way. I want to know if there's something else that comes after us. Okay, so far, so good. We haven't seen any Reapers or heard any Reaper sounds. Doesn't mean they're not here. Could be Harridans, but everything could be dead as well. Alright, Felia, we're gonna round you around the corner. To get you behind some small, slight cover and crouch you here. We can't... We can't circle the UFO this time, so we've got to hit it from this side. Seven send you'll move up a little bit. Could throw a fire grenade in the way of Raphael, but if it misses, I'm worried it will burn him to death, so we'll just kind of sit here with it. Let's move you up like this, Seven Sin. Oh, you might as well reload. I think we're probably going to... Yeah, we should go to the sky. There's a Harridan. Hello, Harridan. We both see you, and you see us. Can we kill it? Wow, that's not a good chance. How far can we move up and still take a shot? The good news is that not Reapers as well. That means not Reapers. We can move you here, Gamer Static, at least here. Does that put this thing into... It does not put it into that range. It's a good range yet. This is as far as I'm willing to move you. We'll crouch you for the extra accuracy. Right, smoke is still useful, Tim, because you're fighting Harridans. So I don't think I really want to move you at all at the moment. He was flying up, up above this building. Is why we we didn't see him with anyone else. Oh right, you two are taking over for our other shields who died several missions ago. Another Harridan! Gamer Static can't shoot it. Maybe you can, Cassandra. Wow. 43 TUs to shoot it. You do not have a good shot. I think we can move you up one more spot. And this will have to do. Didn't kill it. 
Those were here. It also knows where we are over here, too. It totally saw all of us. Okay, so let's crouch you and face this building, which probably has more hostiles in it. Move you up a tiny bit. Hopefully there's no other enemies around here. They'll have so, quite some distance to, to cross to get us, but... Higher ranked Seblians do not have that much of an accuracy penalty compared to their guard and civilian brothers, unfortunately for us. Why can we not see this? That is really weird. I think it's a glitch. Something's not working correctly. Yavier, I'd love to move you up, but I don't want to lose you. So we'll keep you here this turn. Eh, no one's dead. Surprisingly. Well, I'm sorry. None of the Xenonauts are dead. They might be opening and peeking through that door all the time. We've heard We heard multiple shotgun shells going off. So I suspect that we're going to fight multiple hostiles here. Oh god, Tim. You better hope he no long-range shot just downs him from this structure. This door is shut, which is good. I don't, know, I don't understand how we can see that, but we can. I really don't like using cars for cover. Could get a grenade in the face. Move you there. Mr. Gonzalez, this door is shut. Windows not damaged. We'll pray your reaction fire will be sufficient to destroy it. Unfortunately, we're also... Oh, God. I hit end turn by accident. Good thing that was up. Uh, unfortunately, we're annihilating the enemies. We've killed one Seblian. The two Haridans and the other Seblian are paced. So we're not going to get anything from them. It will crouch you. The fire will provide some cover, hopefully, for you. I haven't forgotten about you, Damien. We're going to set you down on this side. Zero, let's just get you with the rest of us. We can reload with you later. All right, that'll do. What's the sound of another big door opening? Thankfully, it missed you. It is a Seblian. Oh, actually, it hit the shield. The shield took a hit right there. Wow. We got lucky hit your side armor. Okay, we got to get you inside the structure, or at least away from where that hostile is. We can't really stop, Tim. There was an industrial door opening and shutting. 
Could have been on this side, though I doubt it. Mr. Perry, I'm gonna move you way inside this. We'll move Miss Gonzalez. How much cover does this give us? We can't tell. 45. You'll face this in case something decides to open that door on you. Damien, you'll watch the front of the UFO. Unfortunately, we have to move you here, Sevenson. I normally don't like... Moving folks so close together, but I really need you both together. Major, I don't like the fact your back is exposed, even though we do have vision down here. We can get you into the building. You should be safe enough here, but if something sees you through the window, it will kill you. I remember what you said a long time ago about having enough TUs to keep you with the normal shot and end each turn crouched. But quite frankly, I think you're better off in the building. I can't get you across the street that way unless I leave you here. I don't think that's appropriate for your health. Gamer said I can't make it to the door and shut it, but Cassandra, you can. We're doing it. Oh, you can't shut the door. What? All right, well, that should keep you safe, I think. It's like, that's not enough to use to take a normal shot, but it will be here. So, even though this won't protect you from Harridan fire... Might keep you alive against Seblian fire. The the fire will. So we'll run you to this building. There's a lot of us in here now. Here we reload with you. Begin moving you up. Keep you on the other side of the wall, though. That will be everyone this turn. All right, we have a hostile in this building on the second floor. Luckily, it decided not to shoot old Odinson in the face. We're going to try to ignore it and get ready to approach the UFO. It's going to be tricky, though, now that we know it's there. If I move you there, you have 34, 37. We can probably kill it if someone else can open the door. But that's not going to happen this turn. <laughs> Mr. Perry will keep you like this and crouch you. You can shoot if something shows up through the window. You can shoot through the window. You can shoot through either window. I want zero at this location, be able to fire through here. As long as you move Xavier behind your shield, Tim, you might as well crouch her then. So he can fire over it. He can't make a snapshot anyway. The fire is gone. Okay. Well, Odinson, where are we moving you? And we're we moving Cassandra. So I'm a little nervous moving you here, Cassandra, because I. I think the alien can shoot through the window at you. I don't know if it will be safe enough for you to be there. Like, you can shoot through the window at it with a 50... It's a 50% block chance. That means it's going to be 50% block chance. But they're probably using heavy plasma rifles. Let's just move you up. Turn and crouch you. I'm a little nervous knowing we have a Seblian over here, but he is on the second floor. He ran this way. I think the stairs is over here. 
So we don't have to worry about him quite yet. We'll have to listen for a door opening. It's like it's too oh, it's too dangerous to actually leave anybody here. He can s probably see us through the window. Hopefully he doesn't open the door and do this really awkward grenade throw somehow to make it there. Because we don't have anything to stop it from doing so. Sarah, I don't really know if I want you there. Anywhere out here, that thing took a shot at our shield and hit the shield from super long distance. It could open the door, run out here, turn, and gun us down as well, I suppose. With that in mind, Damien, we're going to leave you here. You can reaction shot if something shows up. Alright, nothing did. We also heard no doors opening. Okay, I think we run Blue Zone out and look in both directions, make sure it's clear. Can we get anyone else up there to open this door and set up her Kodax and Sevenson? Because I want both to be able to shoot this thing. So you can't even make it if we have to have you open the door. Raphael doesn't have enough to open it. Neither will Crusandra. Our TUs are not in the hundreds with this squad. So only if I move you here will you have the TUs to open that front door. No one else will be able to make that distance. At least we kind of have to stay here for a round then. I don't like knowing this is right next to us. If I put Cassandra here, which is what I want to do, to fire on this door. Well, if the thing is here, it might be able to shoot her. Do you have any fire grenades to provide cover? No, we don't. We'll move you up, Blue Zone, and crouch you facing this. Sir Gonzalez, if I move you here, you can fire into here with a single shot. It'll be super long range, but you can do it. This is death. I can't believe I'm going to do this, but we're gonna. Her codex, you're gonna be the one to open this door for us. He's right here. Hello, sir. It was a soldier. There could be an alien around the corner, so I don't think we want to stay here. At least, I'm sorry, we don't want to stay with the door open. Now, was this a big mistake? We don't see any hostiles. I don't feel like having a grenade eat us in the face, all of us. So we'll do something like this with you guys. Fael, you'll watch behind us here. So we're going to run you around and face this way. Should be safe to move Mr. Zero CBN all the way up here now. If anything comes over here, it's going to shoot one of our other troops, I suspect. So you can destroy that window and hop out and get you away from that entr entryway. That's a big mistake to move her there. If a grenade goes here, you just lost both of them. Gamer static.
went over here and shut the door. And then Damien. I'm curious as to what the upper level will look like for this one. Let's end the turn. Okay, good. So nothing, nothing killed us yet. Now we need to enter the UFO. I think we'll open the door and take a peek. Nothing there. Okay, we're gonna go in next turn. Damien can, I'm sorry, Zero CBN can open the door for us. Or, da or Damien can, yeah. One of those two can open the door. You should never do this normally, but it's. I think it's going to be okay for us to move up. I'm really nervous about this. Watching Alien come around the corner, just gun all of us down. God, be so flipping mad. I had to record the rest of this the next day to lose like four people in one single alien shot. All right, let's end the turn. Okay, it was indeed safe. We'll have you open it for us, Miss Odinson. All right, there could be aliens on the sides here. We have to worry about aliens up top. It looks like there's an elite alien dead here, I think. Oh, God! Oh, God! So that is an AoE weapon. That's a plasma cannon. Wow. Wow. This changes a lot. On one hand, I'm really glad to know he's here. I've never seen them take reaction fire with that with that weapon. But now I don't know what to do. Because now I'm really nervous moving up. Like any place I go, if he moves up just a little bit, he could he can pretty much insta-gib any of us. And we still have the corners to worry about. And the teleporters. I don't have a good answer to this. I don't know what to do. I can't move anyone safely in here. We can try throwing some fire. I, I feel like we need to sacrifice someone. I don't have 100 TUs, so we can't just charge up someone. And again, there's a teleporters plus this. And with him looking at us, that's more of an incentive for aliens to come down the teleporters. We can't stay out here all night, though. He's also a Seblian, so he'll regenerate his hit points unless we kill him outright. I think we have to move in and accept the fact we may take quite a few losses here. Yeah, I think we have to move in. Oh, that's what my shields are for, Tim. They're there to take the hits, so no one else ha has to. If I move him there... Does he have the TUs? He has the TUs to come out and fire on us. And I can't really move into that position without being seen doing it. He'll just run up to here. He could run here and fire at Corporal Blumzo. It's not for a normal shot. We have to move our assaults up. 
to kill this guy. We have to. Yeah, Tim. Just keep spaces between it between some of your troops so you don't lose everybody to this thing. That's the best you can do. That's the only thing you can do. in. Sutter, we are going to move you in as well. Everyone has to move in. I don't really like doing this with him. But unless I want to move someone else here with you. That's wide open from this teleporter. Well, actually, this will be in the way. So maybe you'll be safe. We're going to move you up even more. Face you here, Seven said. Thank you for your service. Then let's get you inside. Or Odinson can get inside, and we'll move her just here. Crouch you, Damien. Cassandra, that door will shut behind us. I'm not worried about something getting us this turn. We'll crouch you. All right, let's see what happens. He didn't move or fire. Really? I've never seen them not take... I've never seen them take reaction fire with that weapon. But it doesn't mean they can't do so. It just means I've never seen them do so. We don't have a suppression grenade to throw in there. I don't know if these will blow up. Nor the AoE of what will happen if I do throw it. Sevenson can move right up to him and fire. It's not like our shields are going to be able to take a of one of these bolts to their face. Not, a, not from a plasma cannon. Nothing came down the teleporters either. Which is good. Jaeger can also move up and fire on it. I think that's our best chance to take him out, is to actually just charge and pray we don't have to worry about his reaction fire. Let's do it. up. Any more static? Actually, let's let's leave you here. You at least have you at least have cover against everything in that spot. It's everyone else I'm nervous about. What's your reaction fire zero? 52. Not very good. Do I really want you here? Oh crap, Raphael Perry, you're still outside. We don't need you outside. Old Odinson. Shame we can't set a rocket upstairs. That'd be awesome if we could do that. You know how hard it is, Tim, to get a good... Heavy weapon user. Oh, this is a 70 strength. That's what she needs to fire this thing accurately. I'm not willing to, to, to leave someone on the other, on people on the other side of this. As many people as possible are, com are coming into this back room. 
I felt you can't make it. You can't make it. So we might as well move you up to here and crouch you. Oh, we can't shut the door. Oh, crap. That's really bad. Well, we'll just pray we don't get a grenade in the face. We did not. Wonderful. Okay. So, zero. Let's open this door and get people lined up to die. Who has excellent reaction fire? 56 reflexes. 52 reflexes. Neither of you are the best. Cassandra, 74. But you'd have to kill it if we move you up. 54. 60. Gives you enough only for a snapshot, Raphael Perry. I think we're going to have Javier Gonzalez move here instead. Actually, Raphael, let's move you over here. Uh, no, we will we'll move you here. So turn, crouch facing this way. So at this point, I'm tempted to make another plasma pistol for you. Oh, you have all this extra weight you can carry. No, 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 you fired a rocket. But I should have checked you before we, before we did what we did with you. So we can move them slightly out of the way. They still have enough for a snapshot if we do that. And Cassandra, let's get you on this side. Damn, we have to leave you standing if I want to. If I want a snapshot with you, and we'll wait to move these two upstairs. Oh boy. Okay. Let's reposition one more time. If you burst from here, you can at least kill it. You'll kill our shield, but it will die as well. Well, Odinson, you I don't think I'm willing to have that to do that with. Okay, next time we're heading upstairs. We hear a door opening up there, so, and it's the dual wing area. Good, now we've checked all the spaces up here. 
Good thing that didn't happen. We'll have to leave you standing if I wanted a normal shot with you. We don't yet know which door is opening. Not sure which door is opening yet. We know one of them's going to, though. This is such a bad idea, Tim. Feels like I'm forgetting somebody. Cassandra. Do I dare leave you so o exposed? We need you here. Alright, everyone dies. Not everyone truly lives, right? Let's do it! Awesome. Awesome, awesome shot, Raphael. Thank you. Okay. We still have the rest of this nonsense to do. I'm thinking we're just going to move everyone up slightly this turn. And see if this door opens. Damien, we're going to get your fire grenade ready. Smoke is useless against... Actually, is that, is that what you want, what you want to do, Tim? Maybe it's not. How many are up here, do you think? Three? Four of them? Probably three. Probably three of them. But they'll all be waiting on this side of the UFO. They will not move. They know we're here. They know we have to kill them to win the mission. Let's try winning the mission. I want to see what weapons they're using. Yeah? Nothing? No, they're in the corners. Yep, we're doing it this way. We're going to go ahead and lob grenades into the corners. Because we know that's where they are. Unfortunately, this really thinks I want to target the wall, which I definitely don't want to do. But Because the game won't let me target not the wall, that means we have to unfortunately move up more to kill the alien over here. You don't have any plasma on you. I hate this. 
Come on, game. I want to th no. I want to throw it in between. That'll work. Of course, there won't be much alien left. That's a shame. That did not go anywhere near as far. If they're in there, though, they're not going to be happy. Of course, we're blowing up more aliens, so there's going to be less stuff to get when we're done. But it's worth it. That grenade also... Alien grenade shouldn't be able to damage us through the wall, I believe, so we should be safe. I'm going to reload if it does. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn. Uh, what I meant is that when they throw an alien grenade... Wow, I didn't realize we threw one so close there. We didn't hear any sounds upstairs. Does that mean there actually wasn't an alien? We don't see one there. What? Nothing. Really? Not even any paste. No alien guts. Okay. I'm also glad this didn't destroy, didn't hurt us. I thought that landed over here for some reason. I should feel. Let's move you here. Crouch you. So now our objective is to hold the UFO. No leader up here? None. That is so weird. <laughs> that is so weird. I mean, I'm glad. I'll take it. But still really, really, really weird. Alright, I have no desire to hunt down the at least one sibling that was out there. There's probably multiples. We did an excellent job kill killing what we killed. I like to not jinx it now by taking even a single hit on this squad. Wow! Only nine aliens alive. We blew up most of them. How did we get $125,000? The plasma batteries. Why was there 11 of... Times 77? Okay. Wow. What the heck is up with that? I'll take it. That's wonderful. That's the price of another precision plasma. One third that wow, if every if only every single mission was like this. Good job, team. And lots of promotions. Alright. Worst thing I did in this mission? I don't think there was one. I think we did everything really well. Yeah, I think we did everything really well. I'm really glad there wasn't more aliens upstairs as well. <sighs> Woo! Okay. We also recovered a landing ship data core. But it doesn't say shipped to any place. How about that? Alright everyone, well that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I will see everyone in the next one. Take care everyone.